by the local and today I'm looking at something first of it on uh, the body now what when it falls on the body something happens right so we said that if one of the effects of it on the body will change the temperature and then the second thing is with the expansion expansion of the body so we have both we have um, done something already so we said the um, quantity of it is equal to m c k that change the temperature right so we said that uh, this c would specific its capacity and we also said that uh, we can have this as what P is MC. P is what we call to MC, right? And P is what specific then um, its capacity different from specific its capacity. So this can be this. So um, I'm talking about expansion. If something expands, it can expand in three ways. So we have the first one, which is um, linear expansivity. Linear expansivity. So when we talk about linear expansivity, it's actually talking about something expanding in one dimension. Uh, expansion in one dimension. Expansion in one dimension. So I drop the length as increasing. So change the length. So that's what we talk about the linear expansivity. Right. So this is the formula for actually the linear expansive actually the uh, initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and then the final temperature is uh, 40 degrees Celsius. So what again? Coefficient, right? Coefficient of expansion which is this. So this alpha is coefficient of expansion, right? Given here as what 11 times 10 to power 4. And then what else? The length of a steel road, very road, 20 cm. Oh, 20 cm. The initial length, right? 20 cm is the initial length. So 20 cm is what? Initial length, right? So the final length, what we're looking at. Final length, what we're looking for. So what do we do now? We have this equal to change the length, all the while, I don't want to change the temperature, 